Mommy going to put that rubber now, padding on the inside. For three weeks, Derek, we've been saying the size is probably not going to be perfect, but let's see if we can give him something he can take home that's blue mm -hmm. and the right length. <laughs> and I think it's going to work. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so yeah, cool. look today. at you. Open it. Open, 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 open it. Oh, so cool. Yay! I know what that might help with building muscles. Oh, I love it. Look at this. Get that picture. Get that picture. All right. Okay, this is a big moment. Oh, I love it. Look at this. Get that picture. Get that picture. All right. Pretty good. I'm John Schell. These are three of uh, our students here at RIT, we are all members of Enable, a volunteer organization, currently about 975 members all over the world, developing prosthetic hands and what you just saw, our very first prosthetic arm, 3D printed and given away for free. There seems to be great demand for these arms as well as the hands that we uh, have been doing for about a year. The problem is that these arms are bigger than the 3D printer we have, and so we need a gigabot in order to begin developing and then distributing 3D printed arms to children and adults who don't have wrists and don't have forearms to give them away for free.